Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that uh, there are 60 boys in a class and out of them 23 were wearing green cap, 16 were wearing a black cap and 21 were wearing a red cap. Each of the boys took off their cap and then wears a cap again such that no boy is wearing the cap of the same color as he was wearing before. Okay, so they exchange their caps and uh, then we have to answer these questions. So uh, since we have a group of questions, we can formulate a table like this. So there were green, black and red caps. And the total numbers are also given to us that these numbers were 23, 16 and 21. So 23, 16 and 21 okay now what happens is let us say there are n boys so green cap will not wear a green cap again right so suppose there are n boys who were wearing green cap are now wearing black cap so this total has to be 23 because there were 23 such students so this will come as 23 minus n okay so that this total turns out to be 23 people similarly we shall do the same totaling this way as well now uh, out of red cap uh, there were 21 people okay and 23 minus n are wearing green caps now so how many uh, of this so we'll just say that it is n minus 2 because if we add this that should add to 21 okay similarly black cap if we talk about so uh, in order to remove n it should be minus n and this will be 18 18 minus n and n minus 2 that makes the total as 16 okay now if we uh, want to add this way it should add to 23 so this will be n n n will get cancelled n plus 5 okay and then similarly we will subtract n and this will be 16 minus n because 16 minus this will add to 21 so we can see the row and column sum that should fit so this is 23 this is uh, 16 this is uh, 21 similarly adding in the column way so this is 23 this is 16 and this is 21 so these are the these were the old numbers these are the new numbers okay all right so the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and are now wearing a black cap is at least so this is earlier this is now so initially they were wearing green cap and now they are wearing a black cap so what is the least value of n now all these values can be uh, minimum 0 okay so if we talk about the lowest value out of this this is n minus 2 n minus 2 should be 0 for n to be least this should be least now this cannot be a negative number so minimum value of n is 2 so the answer will be 2 okay next question says if the number of boys who wore a black cap earlier and are not now wearing a red cap black cap earlier and now wearing a red cap that is zero so that is saying that n is equal to two find the number of boys who wore a red cap earlier and now wearing a green cap red cap earlier and now wearing a green cap so two plus five this is seven okay this can also be visualized in a different way also like for example if you do not make a table you can do it manually also like this so uh boys who were wearing a black cap so initially green was 23 okay and uh, black was 16 and red was 21 now it says that the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and now wearing a red uh, sorry this the number of boys who wore a black cap earlier and are now wearing red cap is zero okay so out of these 16 uh, zero people went to this side so all 16 will go this side to make it a green cap now 16 uh, they we have to make 23 people right so 16 from here so 7 should come from here so that it makes 23 the question is also asking that who wore a red cap earlier and now wearing a green cap so uh, one way is to visualize this way and another way is to make it this way individually the good thing about the table is that you can answer all the questions from the table itself so uh, next question if the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and are now wearing a red cap is minimum possible since all these questions are based on maxima and minima this table is a 
better option a uh, green cap and red cap now okay so this is minimum possible now if this is minimum possible means that the value of n has to be maximum okay so this if this is minimum possible then n has to be max now what could be the maximum value of n uh, none of these numbers should be negative okay so if we see this we cannot put 23 because these will be negative we cannot put 18 because this will be negative n max will be 16 because at 16 this will be 0 and all others will be positive so we can put 16 because if you put more than 16 let us say put 17 this will be negative so it says that the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and are now wearing a red cap is minimum possible so that means this will happen when n is maximum which is 16 so find the number of boys who wore a red cap earlier and are now, and are now wearing a green cap red cap earlier sorry black cap earlier and green cap now black cap earlier and are wearing a green cap now so that is 18 minus 16 that is 2 if we solve using this way uh, like if we make this diagram sort of diagram we will again solve it like this 23 16 and 21 it says the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and are now wearing a red cap is minimum possible green cap and red cap is minimum possible so that means we will bring maximum out of this it is saying that see these 23 people will constitute of this plus this now it is saying that this is minimum possible so this number should be maximum possible so again we get that this number maximum possible is 16 and this will possible be 7 okay so that is the thing that we need to do here right okay and then we can answer the same thing uh, the number of boys who wore a black cap earlier and are now wearing a green cap so uh, we see that out of these 21 7 have gone here so 14 will go here to make it uh, to complete 21 and since out of these 16 14 have come from here 2 shall come from there so that makes the answer 2 so either you use this table method or you use this diagram method for each individual question but table would help us to answer each of the questions all right so let us look at the last question it says if the ratio of the number of boys who wore a black cap earlier and are now wearing a green cap to the number of boys who wore a red cap earlier and are now wearing a black cap is 6 ratio 5 find the ratio of the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and are now wearing a black cap to the number of boys who wore a black cap earlier and are now wearing a red cap so uh, let us use the values from the table it says that black cap earlier now green cap black and now green that is 18 minus n and red cap earlier and black cap now red earlier now black so 16 minus n is equal to 6 ratio 5 okay now can we see this this is 6 ratio 5 the difference is of 2 if we make it like 12 ratio 10 if we make 12, 12 ratio 10 we can say that n is equal to 6 it fits because it will be 12 it will be 10 okay so that means n is equal to 6 now the question is ratio of the number of boys who wore green cap earlier and now black green now black that is 6 and number of boys who wore a black earlier and now wearing a red cap black earlier now wearing a red cap 6 minus 2 that is 4 so 6 ratio 4 that is equal to 3 ratio 2 okay so this is how we do it so if we want to do it using this method this is how we will do so let us say green black and red initially the numbers are 23 16 and 21 okay now it says the number of boys who wore black cap earlier now wearing green cap okay so let us say uh, out of these now six are wearing green cap so uh, uh, the number of boys who wore a red cap earlier and wearing a black cap red and black so it should be five black okay now if we do this we will get six ten and uh, six from green so uh, six from green so ten from red okay similarly 5 from black so 16 from green now if we see that 
we are witnessing that only 22 people are transferred from green to these two places right so our assumption that 6 and 5 is incorrect so if you want to take the next ratio that is 12 and 10 so if we take 12 and 10 so 12 from green and 10 from this so uh, 12 are from green so 4 from red because total is 16 and 10 from black so 11 from green now we see that 12 and 11 23 people from green have been moved here now out of these 23 people 4 are from red now we have to assign 21 red so 4 are assigned here 17 red will be assigned here and remaining 6 should be black so if we see black 10 plus 6 16 black have been assigned now we can answer this question uh, the ratio of the number of boys who wore a green cap earlier and now wearing a black cap green and black so 6 and uh, black cap earlier and are now wearing a red cap so 6 ratio 4 so we again get the same thing so one could do either this way or this way this would be a simpler one because you have to assign in terms of n and uh, according to the question you can uh, substitute it whether you have to optimize whether you have to take the ratio etc and can answer the questions easily so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions